it because it is like, I, I feel this pressure to the next thing I sit down to write is going to be my next book, you know? And it's like, that's sort of a, that's a really hard thing to grasp, you know, like yeah. it's like a big load on your shoulders. Like I yeah. must write the next big novel. And you're like, right, exactly. Like you're going to uncover, I'm like a huge fan of Julie Cameron's The Artist Way of like just the morning pages of write all the junk, get it out of the way. Yeah. Like yeah. You know, sometimes you just have to like clear out the junk in the head mm-hmm. and then try yeah. to figure out like what can come up and you just never know. It can be like a little seedly of an idea. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, actually I'm thinking about doing The Artist Way again because I did it back when I, I was stuck on the truth about Ben and June and I was like, completely stuck no idea what I was gonna do and I was like I'm just gonna do the artist way and then I just took myself on my artist dates and (laughs) you know and like did the morning pages and um the hardest part was the week of no reading or no tv so I literally like my husband would come home and I would be like doing a puzzle I do not do puzzles and I was, I would do a puzzle. I'd be doing a puzzle for like an entire week. And the weird thing was like, I was so into this puzzle. My husband was like, you hate puzzles. And I was like, I know, but right now this is the only thing I have to do in my life. Like I have a puzzle. <laughs> like I was like getting a little manic about my puzzle. <laughs> so <laughs> but anyway, it did really help my writing process. It did eventually, like I got there in the end, you know, we have a book today. <laughs> you have a book today. So you just never know. Maybe the artist way, maybe we're listening. Maybe not go as strict as like no, you know, do the puzzle, but maybe yes. like doing your own artist way light <laughs> version. Yeah, yes, yes. I love the idea of an artist way light because <laughs> the artist way heavy is it's heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so awesome. So tell us where to find you online. Um, you can find me online at my website alexkeister.com. I'm also on Instagram at alexkeister writer, and that's if you couldn't figure out W-R-I-T-E-R, not like horseback rider. (laughs) (laughs) It is all good. So thank you, Alex, for being in the show. Yeah, thank you so much. It was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this podcast, feel free to share with friends, subscribe, rate, and review the show. This is the easiest way to support this podcast. For a list of books mentioned and other romance recommendations, please visit whatshouldwenextblog.com. The Retro Remix Podcast is part of the Frolic Podcast Network. Please visit frolic.media slash podcast to discover new shows to tune in. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.